The problem says you are the manager of a firm and are considering the manufacture of a new product. So you ask the accounting department for cost estimates and the sales department for sales estimates. After you receive the data, you must decide whether to go ahead with production of the new product. Find the break-even quantity and then decide what you would do. Also, write the profit function. We're given the cost estimates from the accounting department. We're told the cost is 105x plus 59.45. And the sales department, based on their sales estimates, tells us the revenue will be 250x. We're also told by the sales department that they don't believe they can sell more than 40 units of this new product. All right, so the first thing that it's asking us to do here is to find the break-even quantity. Well, that may not be the first thing it asks, but that's the first thing we're going to do. And a company breaks even when it neither makes a profit nor suffers a loss. Okay, another way of saying that is the amount of money coming into the business called the revenue is equal to the amount of money going out of the business, which is the cost. So whenever you want to find the break-even quantity, you want to find where revenue equals cost. So in this problem, we are told the revenue is 250x, and we're told that the cost is 105x plus 59.45. So the break-even quantity is going to be the value of x that makes this true. We need to solve this equation for x. So what we want to do is we want to get everything with an x on one side and everything without an x on the other side. And the quickest way to do that would be to start out by getting rid of x from the right side by subtracting 105x from both sides. On the left side, if you combine the like terms, 250x minus 105x is equal to 145x. On the right side, the 105x and the minus 105x cancel, leaving you with 59.45. Now, to get the x by itself, we have to get rid of that times 145 on the left side. We do that by dividing both sides by 145. So on the left side, the 145s cancel. On the right side, use your calculator to do 5,945 divided by 145. You will get 41. That is the break-even quantity. The company will break even if they can produce and sell 41 of this new product. But remember that no more than 40 units can be sold. If you need to produce and sell 41 of them to break even, but your sales department doesn't think you can sell more than 40, then what are you going to decide as far as whether to go ahead with production is concerned? You're going to decide not to go ahead with production because there's no way to make a profit. There's no way to even break even if you can't sell more than 40 and you need to sell 41 to break even. Now, we're still not done with this problem because the problem also asks us to write the profit function in business. Profit is equal to revenue minus cost. So our profit function P of X is going to equal our revenue, which was 250X minus the cost, which is 105x plus 59.45. And if you write it like that, it's wrong. Because I'm not subtracting the cost. I'm only subtracting the first term of the cost. You have to subtract the entire cost. And you indicate that with parentheses. Now, how do you get rid of the parentheses from the equation so you can combine the like terms? Well, you can think of there being a 1 in front of the parentheses or a negative 1. And now we can distribute that negative 1 to get rid of the parentheses. 
negative 1 times positive 105x is negative 105x and negative 1 times positive 5945 is negative 5945. Finally, take these two like terms and combine them. 250x minus 105x is 145x and then you still have this term which has no like term to combine with it. So there's your profit function p of x equals 145x minus 5945 and we've now done all three things the directions asked us to.